Okay, I've fallen behind on uh, video responses, so sorry about that, guys. So this one was a comment from Dead Astronaut FX. Uh, he saw my NeoPixel 211 button functions and tried to make his own. Okay, I modified it a little bit here. So he used something on pin 12 for a button, use an input pull-up. What I did was I defined button, and I put my button on 2, my NeoPixel strip on 6, and my LED count uh, is 16. I'm using the, the ring right here, right? Okay. So what's going to happen here, let's see, we've got an integer called picks, right? So it begins a strip. He had random 1,000. I put a time 64, so it actually spread out across the whole uh, the whole spectrum of colors. Okay, so sets pixel zero right to a random color. Okay, then shows it. Then we've got this boolean called latch that tells us if the button's held right. Because if you hold the button, you don't want it constantly moving, right? You hit the button, then you let go. Hit the button, let go. Hit the button, let go, right? So you constantly do that to make it move, okay? So this works, right? So every time I hit the button, it sets the next one to a random pixel here, right? Okay? So what he's asking is if we can... Uh, let's pull that up here. There we go. If we can move a pattern instead of just a pixel. So very much yes, we can do that. Okay. So whoops. Oh, that's another thing I need to put a response on. Where do we go? Okay. Let's minimize that. Okay. Uh, so right now it currently sets the current pixel off, right? First thing it does, so under loop, if you hit a button, the current pixel that's on, it turns off, it goes to the next pixel, if the pixel's greater than LED count, right, up here, then it sets pixel back to zero. So as it goes around the ring, like, once it hits on this one, pixel 15, like, pixel 16 doesn't exist, but that's also the max, so it sets it back to zero. Okay? And then it sets that next pixel to a random color. I'll put a time 64. It should really be, like, random 1024 to get the whole spectrum. There we go. Okay, and then it shows it, turns on latch. That way, as you're holding the button, it doesn't keep going. And until you let go, it doesn't reset the latch. That way, like if we didn't have the latch, it would, you'd hold the button and it would just keep going super fast. Whoa, as I throw that around, nice. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this. So let's make a pattern here, okay? And so let's uh, let's make a subroutine. Okay, so we're gonna call this pattern. So void pattern. Okay, and oops, let's see. We don't. We need uh, to know the pixel int picks. Okay, and that's about it. So four int a equals zero. A is less than I don't know five. A plus plus. Okay. So let's see, what are we doing here? So we're just doing a regular pattern on a subroutine. Okay, there's a ton of ways to do this. I'm also going to go over another way because I just figured out a kind of a better, more animated way to do this. But we will do, uh, let's see, so, so set, let's see. So strip dot set pixel color. There we go. Okay. Oh, set pixel color. Yeah. Strip dot set pixel color. Okay. I have to check out the the syntax in this one. Okay. And what we're gonna go is picks. Whoops. Picks percent. Uh. Let's see. Num LEDs. Okay. So. I go over what modulo does. I call it percent, but it's really modulo. Oh, whoops, this one called LED count, not MLEDs. Copy that. Okay. Paste that. There we go. So that way, if it's 14, it says 14. If it's 15, it says 15. If it's 16, it goes to zero. Okay, so it'll automatically wrap around. Comma. Let's set this to... Uh, 
Yeah, what are we setting this? So we'll do a color strip dot color HSV here. Okay, copy this whole thing. Okay. Actually, what we'll do here is we'll make a random. So random. Oh, let's see int colors. I like to put a Z on my subroutine, so if I use color in the main loop, it doesn't mess it up, right? So colors equals random 1024. Okay. So this will no longer be random. This will be colors. Actually, let's put it in parentheses. So colors plus, let's see, A times 100. So it'll be a slight rainbow. Okay, and you'll get to see that in action here. Okay, and then let's see, make sure all the parentheses add up, which they don't. Okay, so we got colors plus A plus 100, so that, oh, I see, there's a double parentheses. Whoops, not that one. This one's not necessary. Is it necessary? Yeah, I should probably put that on there. Never mind. We'll do that and that. There we go. Okay, so it's taking colors, taking A times 100, so A is going to be... Let's see, zero, one, two, three, four hundred. Okay. Well, let's do times fifty. Let's make it a little closer together in colors. Times sixty-four. Okay. So we do a strip dot show. The problem with this is it doesn't erase everything, right? So what I like to do is I like to make another uh, subroutine called void uh, blackout or black. We'll call it blackout. Okay, so all it's going to do is 4 int A equals 0. A is less than LED count. Okay, control C, control V. Okay, A plus plus. So it's going to do a strip dot set pixel color. A comma 0 comma 0 comma 0. So it turns all those pixels off, right? Okay, there we go. So, oh, let's make sure you can see all that stuff. Okay, sorry. So over here I was messing with earlier. My bad. <laughs> I have to watch the preview, not just the screen. Okay, so when I run blackout, it's going to turn all the pixels off. Just a memory, right? There's no strip dot show here. Okay, there actually shouldn't be a strip dot show in here now that I'm thinking about that. That's bad practice. This should fill a pattern, and then we get to decide when it shows. Okay, so in here... If we push that button, instead of just turning that one pixel off, we'll run blackout. Okay. Oops. There we go. So that runs blackout. Spelled it the same. Yep. So it'll run this program right here. That turns them all off. Okay. It'll increment the pixel plus plus. If pixel is greater than LED count, pixel equals zero. That can also be express, expressed as pix percent equals LED count. Okay. That's going to do the exact same thing. Okay. So we're setting that one pixel to this, right, to that random color. Now we're going to run pattern. So pattern, let's see. And we needed an integer in there, which is our picks. There we go. Okay. So picks which we made up here will be zero one two three four or five right so this one oh wait we label it picks i want to call it picks z so pick z there we go i like to put z's at on my subroutines okay so i feed it this value which is which pixel to start this pattern at right and then so it's going to run this so let's see We'll push a button, it turns black, it increments the pixel. If it goes over the amount of pixels we have, it sets it back to zero, okay? And then it runs this subroutine pattern with the value of pix, okay? And then it stores that into pix z, okay? So it creates a random color and then has a loop from zero to four, right? Because four is less than five. So strip dot set pixel color, pix z percent LED count. Oh, I see. So we need pick Z. Okay. So we're close here. My bad. Pick Z plus A. There we go. Okay. So now if this is this is 12 
it's going to go 0 to 4, right? So we'll go 12, 13, 14, 15, 0, right? Because it got, it's modulated to the LED count, okay? So it's going to set the next five LEDs to this color, okay? And we created a random color over here. So colors equals random 1024. And so it's going to set them 50 increments apart on that color wheel out of the 1024 increments we have. Okay. And spread it out with the 64. Okay. So that sets all five of those pixels there. Then it ends. Okay. So now we're ended here, right? Ran this. There's a strip dot show. It tells us that we push the button. A little bit of a debounce with the delay. And then now we're waiting, right? We're waiting for us to let it go. So if latch is enabled and the buttons, so if latch is enabled and we release the button, then it unsets latch and also debounces. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's give it a try here. So let's do another split. Hey, let's upload. Actually, let's go straight. Well, we'll wait till it uploads here. Yeah, let's go to the bench. Where's our bench here? Is that our bench? That's our bench. Cool. Okay. So once it's uploading, it should change that pixel back over here. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. I have ruined everything. Let's see what I ruined. Let's see. Int picks. Oh. I put a semicolon in there. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, any any values that you put in here should be uh, separated by commas, and then you end it with a parentheses. No semicolons in this. There we go. Now we're uploading. Cool. Let's take a look at the bench here. So because our setup still just has that one pixel, it's showing that one, right? I could change that. But as I hit the button, all right, let's see if we can. Man, I picked up this light table to hopefully. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to hit the button. Right? So it slowly spreads the colors out. But it's running the pattern now, right? Okay. So I know I posted like 30 or 40 NeoPixel classes. There's about 70 more coming. And I will go over moving animations. And I kind of do in one of them. But it's not button activated. It's just time activated. But, yeah, that's how I move this pattern along here. Okay? Hopefully that answers your question. And gives you a like a base to work on. <laughs> I mean, comment more. I can always make more videos. But yeah, thanks for watching here. Whoops. There we go. All right.